my name is Willow. Welcome to the Distorted Transmission for today. I'm talking to an Auckland band called Unwanted Subject. How are you? We're good, man. Doing good. You're a virginal interviewees. This is the first time you've ever been interviewed on, a, on camera. Is that correct? It is, yeah. yeah. But I read your Facebook blurb. I quite often read bands' Facebook blurbs because more often than not, there's something amusing in them. And uh, I read yours, and yours is a little bit amusing too, so here we go. We are Unwanted Subject, a metal band from Auckland, New Zealand. Our style is taken from early 2000s metalcore scene. Our first EP gained local success with hitting the stages and are soon following that up with a second. So I'm not too sure how drunk the person was at the time that was written, but perhaps a rewrite would, wouldn't uh, be uh, out of order. <laughs> <laughs> All of our social medias yeah. are sort of created by different the people. The funny right? thing about that is <laughs> the only actual English person in the band wrote that. And yeah, <laughs> I don't know how he got that. But I, don't, I don't even know when, when I might have wrote that. Maybe when we went out on the Friday and came home or something like that. I don't know. Not a fucking clue. Yeah, not a but yeah, thanks for pointing <laughs> that out. We might have to have a look at it. <laughs> sure. As far as intros go, uh, would you guys like to introduce yourselves, what you do in the band, and the other two guys who aren't present, if you can also mention them, and what they do in the band? Oh, our drummer sat down in the corner, so he might pop up with his little head every now and again. <laughs> yeah, all right, so um, this is Blair, our drummer. He's the band mascot. Um, that's Ryan over there. He's on the guitar. rhythm guitar slash lead. We don't really have a rhythm or a lead. We mix it up. I'm Jared. I'm the vocalist. We've got Bran over here on the bass, yeah. and then non, not present is Prasid, which is also on the guitar. How did I know which one of you was the bassist? Because it's the biggest on this. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a look, hey. It's just a look. I get that a lot. Like people, people say, like, you're a musician. I'm like, yeah. And they're like, you play bass, don't you? I'm like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why. I just look like one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So our band history, could you sort of uh, fill me in on approximately, you know, when the band started, how long you've been around, that kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. So we basically started up at the end of 2020. Um, we started with a sort of all South African lineup. And since then, it's been a whole lineup change. I'm the only South African left. And um, yeah, we've got all these new members and some has been with us for longer. But as the lineup sits now, it's been about four months that we've been playing together. Was there a reason why you're all a South African band to start with? No, not really. I mean, <laughs> I just, I, I got to Auckland and, you know, just got onto social medias and said I wanted to jam with people. And coincidentally, people that hit me back was a group of South Africans. Um, so, yeah, I just started jamming with them. We formed the band and then, yeah, just took it from there. But they've since moved away and wada wada. So we had to carry on. Kept the lineup going as it was. Why did you guys sort of decide to do the the sort of early two thousands metalcore scene sound? Um, I guess <laughs> yeah, yeah, that and and what you grew up on, you know, like um, especially for me and Jade, like I think not growing up on a lot of the stuff that's around in Auckland. So it's like, what did we grow up on? And I think we grew up on that two thousands new metal scene, you know, that with Chimera and Bullet and all that sort of stuff. So we just all sort of gravitated towards that metal scene, that metal sound, sorry. Yeah, so, and it just sort of carried on from there, really, eh? But yeah, having, so. having a new guitar player in the mix that's not from that scene will definitely add something different. So we're looking forward to that, yeah. Fair enough, yeah. I suppose this, the stuff that I was listening to when I was maybe in my early 20s is probably the same sort of stuff that I still gravitate towards now. So I can I can sort of empathise the EP that, that was mentioned in in the poorly written blurb that I mentioned before. Um, it was a five track uh, entitled "Till the End," which dropped in twenty twenty one. So I guess about a year ago ish. Yeah, you released five videos in mixed styles, uh, from lyric videos to actual band music videos. So you've pretty much exhausted your repertoire there. Uh, so what's the band been up to? Uh, are there any plans for some new songs and new recordings on the factory floor? We've released a couple songs. We haven't re finished recording them yet, but we had a couple that we've tried out on our latest shows, and we've been starting a new one tonight, which is pretty exciting. Um, so a bit, bit different to the EP, so exciting for when that gets recorded and released, what people's reactions will be. But. Okay. Yeah, so we're trying to mix it up quite, you know, quite a bit. We don't want to photo copy the EP that we released initially. We want to mix it up a little bit, you know, keep it interesting. And yeah, we just want to finish up another two to three songs and then we'll put out a new EP 
and it's yeah going to be an exciting one how long does it take you to, to actually like sort of write and an ep's worth of music for some bands it's several years for some bands it's several months it's hard to say now because we've only actually tonight we've actually just started the new creative process um so it would be the first time that um the band as we are now would you know put our heads together and try and write something to be fair though with like our first like creation as a full band together we wrote a song in a night yeah, yeah. which was and which was pretty mean ceasefire in a night and that was like pretty impressive and we bring it back to the it was me and ryan that wrote it in the night and um on the next week's band practice the rest of the band came through and we pretty, much, yeah, yeah. we pretty much just made it work from there um and with within the last like two band practices after that we ended up getting it down solidly and we've played it live twice now so yeah um, yeah good so i guess at the end of the day i think i guess it depends on the song sometimes it goes quick sometimes a little bit longer you know it's yeah. hard to predict being able to write a song in, in a night can be good or it can be like a tragedy yeah the song, the song yeah. could be absolutely terrible or absolutely amazing it depends Fair enough. Yeah, luckily, luckily enough, we played it live and it had fucking pretty mean feedback, which was which was pretty cool. And it's got such a groove to it that I think regardless of what metal you're into, the groove hook in it sort of grabs people straight away. Mm -hmm. So we had some good feedback on it. So we're definitely going to chuck it on the EP for sure. And and how was the response to, to the last EP? Is, I mean, I know like new metal was was a thing for, for quite a while and then it kind of died out and became uncool. Um, but maybe there's like a resurgence now that the, the, the people who were listening to it uh, initially have sort of reached a certain age that they're going out and sort of enjoying that music again. It's been really good, I have to say. I mean, on the three shows that we've played recently, we've had really good turnouts and the people seem to be, you know, from our perspective, really enjoying it. Um, you know, we had a pot, you know, a couple of mosh pits going and people going they wild. They just say G got uh, pushed his ass on the floor because there was too many people losing their shit. Yes. <laughs> so now we feel that it's doing really good. And, you know, similar to us, there's, we feel there's a lot of people that miss that sound, you know, that like, you know, because obviously the new music coming out these days might, might sound all the same and, you know, just trying to improve and get to new things. And although we do try and not do exactly how the 2000 metalcore was, we try and sort of get the influence from there. But at the end of the day, we think that there's a massive gap in the market, especially, you know, in, in New Zealand at the moment for it. So yeah. I think it's, it's going to work out. It's definitely working. I think what made it hard was when the first EP came out, it was like we went into lockdown. So you know what I mean? So we didn't get to tour it. We didn't get to gig it. We didn't get to support anyone. It was just like we did one one show with it and then lockdown happened you know it was almost like it was almost like a forgotten about ep after a while you know we just had to get back together again create a new lineup and start jamming it again you know so it made it a lot harder when it first came out but the recent shows we've played it all and it took off pretty well yeah that, that, that kind of happened to pretty much every new zealand band i think or pr pr probably every band in the world like that like release something and then just the worst timing ever you know the last thing for me to ask you really is is the is the old staple anything to add and i always put this at the end of interviews people have the opportunity to pretty much say whatever they'd like to say so uh yeah the it's an open forum so is there anything else you'd like to add to the interview just keep keep an eye out for us man like we're we're a smaller band at the moment but we're looking to take over <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you know also with that with that yeah i mean really exciting at times uh, you know ahead of us we just want to say you know for the fans that that stick with us throughout this whole process you know and the gaps that we had to take we really appreciate you and just you know keep an eye out we're gonna blow your mind soon with the new songs coming out don't, and yeah don't don't hang on to the old ep too much yeah it's a whole completely new lineup new influences so it's gonna take a Bit of a change in direction but it's going to be awesome. in a good way yes yeah. 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 cool. so not not just that but i like personally just want to put in my like 10 cents worth like since i've started jamming with these guys with our old songs like, too yeah with yeah. everything and even just playing with these guys like it's not just about the ep it's about it's about making the music that we're playing and showing other people that we can fucking blow their faces off. And we, we literally get together every fucking week 
and we criticize the shit out of ourselves every fucking time and we just make it better and better and better to the point where it's to me i like to be faultless if i can yeah if i can get to the end of a fucking a jam <laughs> session even if it's just <laughs> even if it's just a fucking band practice drama eh? faultless, yeah man yeah <laughs> uh, it's not just me it's it's everyone here. yeah we're all like that yeah we're, we're we, all go, we all critique ourselves yeah, like and we all go home and we all look at each other and yeah. go fuck you know and and we're honest with each other we're all we're all like brothers we all fucking we make it work and yeah. it's it's fucking heavy shit and people's heads can fucking get broken throughout the night by smashing their heads together yeah. for fucking head banging to our fucking heavy ass music yeah. <laughs> so i guess fantastic. i guess to sum it up just watch this space yeah. i i can de de definitely see why he wasn't supposed to be in the interview he swears way too much <laughs> <laughs> he's the talker yeah he's a talker cool thanks very much for uh for chatting with me tonight it's uh, it's been a pleasure meeting you all Best luck with your with your new musical ventures and any gigs that are coming up. Yeah. Cheers. Yes, thanks for inviting Thank us. Thank you. Cheers. You're welcome. Cheers. And thanks for watching.